Hi, everybody. This is John Schwabish from PolicyViz.com coming to you with another DataViz critique. This one of a feasibility study of jails in Otsego County in Michigan. Otsego County is located a bit northwest of Detroit, sort of in the middle, north middle part of the state between the two Great Lakes, appears to be a pretty rural area of the county. This uh, particular deck appears to be created by these two architecture firms. So we're going to come back to that in just a little bit. Now, before we go on, just to clarify, I don't know how this presentation deck was presented. I don't know if it was delivered as a PDF or they actually presented it. I don't know myself much about jail construction and what that takes, but I do know a little bit about data visualization and I do know a little bit about forecasting. So we're going to get to that in just a second. Let's skip through these long lists of goals, objectives, agendas, methodologies, and let's get to the first data viz slide. If you're into data visualization, this probably took your breath away for so many different reasons. The most obvious one being what's going on with these bars in the projection period. 2019, the projected proje population in this county is 24,985. The year before, 24,665. These bars should all be much higher, right? Let's also take a look at the frequency of the data. So we've got decennial data, 1970, 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010. And then we're going to throw in 2018 and 2019. So that's not going to be 10 years. And then we're going to pick up another uh, decade uh, sets of projection data. Now, Having said all that, having commented on the terribleness of this particular graph, the projections here make no sense. Look what's happened in population in this county between 2000 and 2019, ignoring the height of this bar. If this number is right, this rate of growth is about maybe 1%, probably way less than 1%. So why would any of these projection models be reasonable? They make no sense whatsoever taking into account population data from 1970, 80, and 90 into what we've seen over the previous 20 years. These population projections make no sense. And if you're looking at this graph as a decision maker in Otsego County, this should jump off the page. That even if these bars are up here, there's no reason to expect even this log growth is going to occur. Now, let's get in a little bit further into these graphs. You can see we've got more of the same. We've got all of these grid lines, vertical, horizontal. We've got data labels that are overlapping, different sizes, different fonts, different colors. I mean, it is just a mess. I try to be positive with these critiques. This one is a mess. Now, if you are making time series graphs like this, let me just make one point that, that can probably help you here. If you're mixing frequency of data, right? So 1970, 80, 90, 2000, 2010, 2018, 19, 2020, and then picking up every nine years, you want to space those bars out. You want to space those bars out so we're actually seeing the data as it's actually occurring in the same uh, units, the same frequency over time. All right, let's get a little bit further into these projections because there's some interesting things going on in here that, again, this is not my particular area of expertise, but it's some pretty interesting things going on here. So here's the table of projections. We're going to keep going. Yep, this is taking your breath away, I'm sure. You've got the 3D exploding pie charts. You've got some more of these bar charts. We've got this table here. Let me zoom in. I'm going to zoom in all the way for you. I'm going to get all the way into that's 425%. It's all blurry. Can't read it. There's some tables later on in this deck that make this a little bit, that maybe blow this up a little bit, but really hard to see what's going on here. Now, notice that they've zoomed into the most recent decade or so. So that to me, when you're doing a projection, you want to look obviously historically, but you want to look at the most recent period to see how things are changing because population growth in the 1970s is not necessarily going to be repeated today. I want to get down to just one or two more things in this graph in this particular deck. Again, all the 3D exploding pie charts you could uh, create on your own. They are just a data viz critiques joy to see all these we all know if you're watching this we all know how to improve these let's not use uh 3d pie charts at the very least because now why is that if you don't know why is that because when i look at this graph for example over here in the top right male female 25 percent, 75 percent this blue slice is taking up a greater proportion 
of the screen because of that 3D distortion that's occurred. So whenever I see 3D graphs, especially in a deck like this, where it's from firms trying to sell their services, my alarms immediately go up. Are they creating these because they don't know a better way or are they trying to get me to believe something that is not necessarily true, that they're trying to distort the data? Generally, I sort of don't view these things as malice, but just ignorance. In this case, my alarm bells go off. I'm not exactly sure, but but first thing I think about when I see 3D graphs like this is I worry that people are trying to sell me something uh, to make it look better than it actually is. Let's see, I'm just going to keep going down because I want to show you just one last thing here uh, at the end of this particular uh, deck. Take a look. You know which model are they going to recommend? I mean, is it surprising that they take these three models? These have the lowest annual bookings. You're trying to, as an architecture firm, expand what's going on, expand the, the purchasing or what needs to happen in jails. Uh, model three, most number of bookings, most number of bookings here. Uh, this is going to be the highest. Now, of course, we're looking at a 2039. Now, I've done projection work where I looked out 100 years for Social Security uh, projections. Social Security is much different than something like jail, right? Social Security is often primarily uh, growing because of changes in population population and labor force, which we sort of have a handle on. I would argue that changes in criminal justice reform are going to be more dramatic by 2039 and 2049 than our changes in population. Again, I'm not exactly sure how the projections and the models are being conducted here. It's also an architecture firm, so perhaps not the place I would go to understand more about the population and the jail uh, population in Otsego County in Michigan, but this is this is uh, what, what we have to look at. We just want to highlight one last thing. In the final recommendations, it is believed that the 10-year collection period of data is unreliable for the following reasons. If the data are unreliable, why should we believe that the results are reliable? Right? Why should we go ahead and purchase more beds for these jails if the data are unreliable and these projection models are clearly uh, not sufficient? So I want to go all the way back. I want to just focus on the data viz to wrap this up. Perhaps one of the worst bar charts with projection models layered on top that I have ever seen. And again, try to be positive in these. Haven't found much to be positive about in this particular slide deck. So Hopefully the next time you are making a slide deck, you are making your visualizations, you can do a better job than what's done here. Primarily if you're thinking about what, how you're creating your visualizations, make sure the bars are all on the same scale. That's pretty obvious. And get those years, in this case years, to be the same frequency. So you have 10 tick marks between each of these, then eight, then one, then another 10. So this is John Schwabers from policyviz.com. I hope this critique was useful. I'll put the link to this deck in the show notes and be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can learn more about how to improve how you visualize your data.